Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. The crosshair passage for today comes from 1 Corinthians 1.18 which says the message of the cross is the power of God. The Daily Fire thought for today is that believers are, are the light of the world but they need the Holy Spirit to switch them on. Branding the word passage for today is John 17, 4 and 5. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Judges 7, Acts 11, Jeremiah 20, and Mark chapter 6. Today we're going to be talking about the cross and kingdom miracles. The power of the kingdom, the Holy Spirit, and the gospel of the cross are welded together. The work of Christ, especially in his death, tore down the wall between the world and the other world of God's kingdom. Since then, the Holy Spirit has invested everything in the crucified Christ. He works his wonders solely on redemptive or redemption ground. The Spirit supports the gospel only, always and everywhere. What more do we need? One man filled with the Spirit is better than a hundred committees that keep minutes but lose hours. When God so loved the world, He did not form a committee. He sent His Son. When His redemptive work was done, the Son sent the Spirit. Christ said believers are the light of the world and they need the Holy Spirit to switch them on. No doubt many people are eager for miracles, but it will save many from disillusionment if they know that miracles belong only to the gospel and nothing else. No marvels for the sake of marvels. God is not in the business of supplying marvels to bring fame to any strutting egotist. The Holy Spirit is in league with the crucified Christ has one goal, to defeat the enemy through the gospel. The gospel is totally comprehensive, leaving nothing untouched, earth, heaven, or hell. As a Christian, I knew that the cross had a spiritual effect in my life. But when I spoke, have spoken tongues, it reached me as an earthly person. The Father in heaven, the Son on earth, are both concerned when redemption, with redemption, each in his own sphere. As Jesus expressed, I have glorified you on, on the earth. I have finished the work which you have, have given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, which the glory, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. John 17, 4 and 5. Christ's work on earth affected death, and the Father's work affected, the, affected glory. Jesus came for here. He came here for here. If it was not to get us an entrance into heaven, he might have arranged it in heaven. But salvation had to be produced on earth for earthly purposes. My baptism in the spirit touched both my spirit and my body, typical of the true nature of the Christian faith. Open your heart to the spirit today. God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on the next trail ride.